Hello, today I'm, a, I'm going to show you a little bit advanced uh, data collection and analysis techniques. Um, on the left hand side, we have a market, uh, market share from our monitor uh, reporting about the market share of different brands of baby milk, deer like, seem like, fiso, and so on. On the right hand side, you have uh, the chart uh, about the share of search percentage of search per brand, baby, uh, baby milk, uh, grow, seem like, and so on. And the data is from Google search. The objective is to use the data from Google search to validate the market share. In other words, to answer the question, is there any correlation between the people behavior, search behavior of consumer and the market share. Uh, in other words, uh, the one, the, the brand that is Google the most, uh, do they have the largest market share? So that's the purpose of our activity or exercise today. So let's go to, first we'll start with data collection and for that we going to use Google Ad and specifically inside Google Ad we have a tool. Uh, so here I have Google Ads and um, you know it's a free, it's free provided by Google and uh, you need to go there just go to your Google Ads account if you have one, if you don't have uh, just create one, it's free. Now, once you're inside Google Ads, uh, go to Tools and Settings, click on Keyword Planner, and then click on Discover New Keywords. Okay. So here I'm gonna to type uh, the keyword for the that I'm studying. I already have a list of keywords, so let me go to my file and pick the keyword okay remember our topic uh, it's baby food so the following keyword are relevant for the topic let me copy it and paste this here okay so I think Google put a limit of 10 keyword at a time okay so I exceed the li uh, the the keywords limit somehow okay no problem so after that you click on get result and then look at on the right hand upper uh, right hand corner you see the download icon click on that and select Google Sheets click download and then give Google one minute for it to prepare the report. Okay, it's done. Open the sheet. You see a lot of data, right? It's just a monthly search, every monthly search by user. Okay, for the keyword we just provided to Google Keyword Planner. All right on the left hand side click on file and then download as Microsoft Excel download it to your computer and then we are going to close a, close that tab and open the find Excel okay now it is a good idea to create um, a backup of that data just in case you ro delete the wrong data you can always go back to the original okay so I'm going to create a backup okay baby baby food search okay backup all right now for the purpose uh, now we are going to clean before we can analyze data we need to clean it a, a little bit because the data is not ready for analysis so what we are going to do is to delete all the columns except two which is keyword and 
every monthly research okay so delete all the column except those two columns okay I select all the column I want to delete and right click and delete gone all right so now we left with two columns uh, for the purpose of this demonstration you 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 can see that um, there's a lot of data so let me go down all the way down to the last row you see how many rows are there I think that's probably thousand of them right okay 1200 that's a lot for the demo so I'm going to select only 100 row for the demonstration purpose okay I'm going to down and select only 100 so it's faster but when you do it you have to do with all the data you, you downloaded from Google okay 100 okay right click and then copy okay and then paste this into a, a file. I already have a file here. I'm going to put it here. Right click here and paste this. Okay. Next step is you need to get a list of the brand. Okay. In order to perform some search function so I'm going to copy the list of the brand paste this here add reference okay now what we need to do next is to sort the mention of each of the brand and then highlight them by different colors so that we can differentiate them and calculate the volume of such for each brand okay, it's look very messy at, at this stage what we need to do is to sort the keyword or sort the mention by the brand name all right uh, what we need to do is click here to select all and then on the home tab you look for find select and click on find or on the computer you can uh, use a shortcut Control F and then find what I'll start with Vietnamilk or I'll start with uh, okay Vietnamilk we don't have it in the list but I probably saw Vietnamilk somewhere but okay I'll start with Similac okay the first in the row Similac type Similac here is not case sensitive so Similac here it could be but here we don't we don't need Similac and then I click find all okay see here we only see three cell file why because remember we only selected uh, 100 row out of 1200 row for the purpose of demonstration okay so control A on, on a, your keyboard can press down control A okay to select all and then in the color field pick a color that make it stand out here I pick the red color you see that the dimension with the similar brand name is highlighted in red click here okay uh, I'm go back to my brand list and repeat the process for other brand okay how about uh, Meiji okay Meiji file all first I need to select all okay select the entire spreadsheet and then file all two cell control A and then select a different color for that one okay it's orange repeat it for uh, I see Matilia here so I type I'm going to type Matilia the brand here uh, I need to select the anti-spreadsheet and file all see for sale 
Control A to select all and then I select a different color for that one which is yellow okay so you repeat the same process for the other brand it takes about maybe 10 minutes to do so after after I'm done going to you need to go to the top row under keyword okay and then select it and go to data and then look for filter click on filter okay see the drop down menu here click on the drop down menu and click sort by color okay yellow expand uh, expand selection yes okay so it's sorted by material you know highlighted in red here you repeat the same process for other color for other brand red okay, expand okay so we 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 done with uh the two brand for the demonstration purpose okay i'll stop here because it's just for you to see the process now i'm going to copy the two now before that i'm going to insert uh the brand name here for example simlac i type similac here see me okay and then copy here ma t lia so the idea is to separate the brand from the actual query so we only retain the brand mention for time okay and then i put it give it a heading the brand here copy the brand column and average monthly search copy it and then paste this outside in the blank cell okay paste this here now we see a little bit uh warning from uh excel uh you know the left upper left corner of the cell you have a little warning here why because um that data that number uh, is treated at text uh by google provided at text by google we need to turn it into number in order to make it ready for calculation so i select the monthly average monthly search and i go to data okay and then look for text to columns okay it's gonna to turn the text into number click on that and then click finish very simple see uh the warning disappear now you select the two column and then go to the insert tab and click on pivot table select from table range and then click ok all right so it opened a new uh tab here and then you going to click select the brand and select it and drop it in the row and do the same thing select the monthly search and drop it in the value okay so here we got the search by brand name copy everything and then paste this into a blank cell all right okay after that we need to insert a chart to visualize it okay before inserting a chart uh i need to do something else which is calculate the brand as a percentage search volume as a percentage of the total search so i'm going to uh, create a new column in between and then give it a name the heading uh percentage and then click on the blank cell next to the brand name and then select the search volume for that brand name and then on your keyboard press divide and then select grand total so what i'm 
what I'm doing is to take the percentage of such volume by the material brand out of the total for the two brand. Hit enter. Okay. And you do now. The trick here is that um, I don't want to do it manually, so I want to do it automatically. So I want Excel to automatically fill up all the cell that are blank. So I'm going to put my cursor here before the G6, before the grand total, and press F4, the F4 key on my keyboard. It's a function key, okay? Or you can manually add a dollar sign between G and after G. Okay, press enter, and then what I need to do is just drag down, okay? It's automatic. No need to repeat the repeat it manually. Now we got the brand distribution. Okay, here I need to rename it brand. The brand search volume distribution. I'm going to select the two column of interest and click on insert tab. And I'm going to click on recommended chart. Okay. O chart and look for bar. Okay. Select. Okay. So we got a uh, we got the data the chart to visualize the data. Okay. So if you doing well it well your final uh chart will look that way. Okay. And then you'll be able to see some correlation. For example, here dialect uh, has a, it's a market leader, it's a brand. And then here you have Simlac, it's the first one, and dialect is somewhere. Okay, dialect in in the middle. Okay, so dialect it's uh, has the largest market share, but it doesn't have. Um, the largest share of search. So what is why is this? We need to um, to do um, further research in order to to answer that. Okay. So that's it for today. I hope you learning something useful uh, for your research, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.